Hi, everybody. I'm hoping that you remember what my name is. Do you remember my name? I hope you do. <laughs> my name is Mrs. Cowgill. So remember um, that I love talking about myself and my name. So let's talk about my name. Remember that it's a phonetic word. What you see is what you get. Cow and gill. Because I married Mr. Cowgill. And also my name is a compound word. So you remember what a compound word is. A compound word is when you take one word and another word and you put it together and you have a whole new word like cowgill. That's right. And don't forget, my name's not cowgirl. <laughs> that L is very important in my name. I'm a cowgill. All right, let's get into it. Who remembers the name of my job? Do you remember the name of my job? Am I a principal? Oh, I'd love to be the principal. I'd be the boss of everybody. Am I a teacher? I'm not smart enough to be a teacher. <laughs> How about a cafeteria worker? Trust me, you wouldn't want to eat my food. So I'm a school counselor. That's right. And as a school counselor, I can help you with these three things. I can help you with school stuff, friend stuff, and home stuff. <clears throat> Pardon me. But today we're just going to be talking about school stuff. In particular, the classes that you're going to be taking next school year. So there's two different types of classes that all sixth graders take in our district. They're either required or they're elective. Required classes are those classes that are mandatory. You have to take them because the grown-ups said so. And then there's elective classes. And elective classes are classes you get to choose. Look at the word elective. What is the root word of elective? Well, the root word is elect, which means to choose. And you get a choice. You're getting older, um, more independent, more autonomous. And you get a little bit more responsibility. And you actually get to start shaping what your education looks like, starting in the sixth grade at John Adams Middle School with your elective class. Okay, these are your required classes. And the number that you see after the, the class name is the number of days you're going to be taking that class. Okay, so let's start from the bottom. PE. PE stands for physical education. Um, that's basically your gym class. You take that class three days a week. And remember that at John Adams Middle School, we're on block scheduling. And you have your classes PE three days a week. PE is all types of stuff. You not only get to run a mile, you also get to learn how to juggle. I'm going to do it. I I promised myself I'm going to learn how to juggle with the sixth graders next year. You start off with lightweight handkerchiefs. You work your way up to hacky sacks, and then you get tennis balls. So I'm going to I'm going to learn with you guys next year. There's also a dance unit, a yoga unit, but then there's more traditional PE activities like tag football basketball, soccer, and again, you get to run the mile. Okay. <laughs> then there's a science class. You actually take a science class with your own separate science teacher in their own separate science laboratory classroom. Um, you take science three times a week. Then there's math. Math is one of my favorite subjects because, don't tell anybody, I used to be a math teacher. And you take that math class three days a week. So PE, science, and math. You take those classes three days a week. Humanities. You might be thinking, Ms. Cowgill, I don't know. Human I've never heard of that. What is that? Well, actually, you take it every day with your teachers. Your humanities class is a combination of English language arts and social studies all rolled up into one delicious class called humanities. And because humanities is too separate subjects, you take that class five days a week. So humanities, five days a week. Math, science, and PE, three days a week. Let's get into elective classes now. Okay, so we have six elective classes at John Adams Middle School. They are orchestra, band, junior girls chorus, boys chorus, engineering, and exploratory. Oh, well, we're going to stop start at the top. Orchestra. Orchestra is those instruments that are stringed and you drag a bow across those strings, such as violin, viola, cello, and bass. 
Sorry, there are, there's no ukulele, banjo, or guitar. I get I guess piano, would that be a stringed instrument? Because it has strings in it, but we don't have piano either. So we have orchestra. It's fantastic. I played violin when I was growing up from fourth grade until high school. And I loved it. Um, so the teachers are Miss Wu and Mr. Garnrider, and it's a fantastic class. If you're interested in taking orchestra, you don't know how to play an instrument, but you've always wanted to learn how to play an orchestra instrument, sign up for the class. We'll teach you how to play it. If you already know how to play the violin, viola, cello, and bass, and you like it, well, that's a no-brainer. Keep playing it. Sign up for orchestra next school year. But what if you play the violin, viola, cello, or bass, and, and you just don't like it? You should choose something different next school year. Okay, moving on to band. Band are woodwind instruments, brass instruments, or percussion. Or as I like to say, things that you blow in or you beat on. So those are your band instruments. It's a fantastic class. Again, it's taught by Miss Wu and Mr. Garnrider. Um, if you always wanted to learn how to play like, I don't know, like the trumpet or the clarinet, and you don't know how, but you really want to learn, sign up for the class. They'll teach you how to play. If you already know how to play a band instrument and you love it, yeah, you should sign up for band because you love it. But if you take a if you take a band instrument and you don't really like it, take something different. Sign up for something different. You're allowed to do that. All right. What if you like music but you're not into playing an instrument, but you're into singing? Like you sing all the time, in the shower, in the car, at the dining room table. You drive your family crazy. You love singing. You should sign up for choir. So there's junior girls chorus and there's boys chorus. These classes are taught by Mrs. Blanchard. Again, an amazing class. But what if you're a kid that's like, you know, I'm not really musical. I know how to play the radio. That's about it. Well, there are two non-musical classes that you could consider. One of them is engineering. The other one is exploratory. So engineering is a class taught by Mr. Sato. And what we're looking for are creative types who enjoy problem solving and love to work on projects. Um, that's what engineering is all about. And it's a little bit of computer coding thrown in to the mix. So that's kind of fun. Then there's exploratory. Exploratory is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So it's a half a year of art and then half a year of engineering. Or it's half a year of engineering and then half a year of art. Oh yeah. Um, the engineering is just a truncated version. It's just a half a year class of the original engineering. Art Art is anything 2D, 3D. You're looking at watercolor, um, tempera, acrylic. Uh, I don't think you do any oil. Um, then there's drawing, perspective, <clears throat> philosophies of art, a little art history. There's also 3D. So you're working in ceramics. We have a kiln right outside our art studio where you can uh, make your beautiful object in clay uh, and then you fire it up and you bake it. <laughs> I think it's called firing it up. Um, you take it out, you glaze it, which means you paint it, you put it back in to fire it up, and then it's you have this beautiful artistic object that you can give to someone you love or keep it for yourself. And so that's a lot of fun. So those are the elective classes. Again, orchestra, band, junior girls chorus, boys chorus, engineering, and exploratory. You get to choose one. Yeah, kids always, how do I choose two? You get to choose one. Uh, of those classes and I hope you choose wisely because you're you're in that class from August until June yeah there's no like let me try this out and if I don't like it I can change no no I'll say no so you want to be really serious about your choice good luck and if you have any questions you can always contact me what's my name that's right Mrs. Cowgill all right thank you guys thanks for your attention